Good to have you. Do you live here now? Uh, do you like it here? Of course, right? And someone else said, where, Hong Kong? Hong Kong, good to have you with us, Paul. Paul's been in the business for how long? 30 years. 30 years. My goodness, that's a long time. Well, good to see you, Paul. Anywhere else am I missing? Pakistan. Oh. From Egypt, but live in the UAE. Well, it's good to see you guys. Thanks for being with us. It's great to have such a... Oh, hold on. From India. Well, good to have you with us. Whereabouts in India are you from? Where in India? From where? I can't even pronounce that. I, she's from India. I, have the, I am the worst with languages. It's unbelievable. I read a word, and, and like Susan's last name, it doesn't say what she said it says. I, I promise you. When you see that, you'll be on my side, I promise. Enough of my talking. Let's introduce the, the next guests up here now. And we're going to have, oh my goodness, this next lady is going to set you alight. Not only is she a phenomenal lady, she's a great friend of mine, but she has the greatest name in the whole world. Like, it is incredible, and you're going to learn something here in a minute, because this, this lady is from South Africa, um, and she's been part of the GLT for quite a long time now, at least 2017, right? Yeah, because I remember being on a trip with her in 2017. We got to know and love her husband, Percy. Mobile. Mobile. Mas, hold on a sec. Seleku. Yeah. Mobile. Seleku. Come on up, Mobile. Yeah. Now, Mickey, how long have you been in the business? 24. This young man, look how young he looks. You guys can't see him on TV. This guy looks like he's about 21. He's been in the business for 24 years. Mickey Burkis. Come on up, Mikolos. Let's just get you up here now. Well, 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 well. Now, Mickey and I have been friends for 20 years minimum. Mickey, welcome. It's good to have you with us. And this is Sh Dr. Shandor Melez, or as they say in Hungary, Melez Shandor, right? Yes, right. Right, Melez Shandor. He's going to help Mickey with my English. Mickey speaks English. He doesn't speak my English because I'm not very good at it yet. So. <laughs> now, and um, Mobile. I know I make a mess of that, but I promise you, I've been practicing. You're doing well. Am I okay? You are. Thank you so much. <laughs> Can you do it properly for our friends? Mobile. You just have to click. Mobile. <laughs> yeah. You like kind of like. Where did that come from? <laughs> and what's the um. Percy was in the car with us, and he said, uh, what's the tribe? There's the Zulus and the... It's a Zulu tribe. And the other tribe. It's the Tosa tribe. What's it called? Tosa. Did you hear that? Isn't it? <laughs> it's incredible. It's just an amazing language. Uh, isn't it amazing how, who we meet in forever? The diversity just in this room, the languages, and it's wonderful. But I know you're not here to talk about her name. We, we've got so many things, but one of the things that I'm excited about is Mickey... Tell us what cars you have now. Whoa. Ooh, now, I, now I have a uh, Ferrari, I have a uh, Lamborghini, I have a uh, Rolls Royce. Uh, <laughs> enough? <laughs> <laughs> Mercedes? Mercedes. You got your, your Jeep uh, still? Mercedes, yes, and uh, um, the latest model of uh, Porsche uh, 911 Turbo S. Crazy. Okay, we're finished. Yeah, yeah. We all love forever. Mickey collects cars, and he has the most beautiful stable of cars. Yes. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, newly married? In fact, why don't you take a minute to introduce yourself to these guys and the guys that are watching um, around the world? Tell us a little bit about your journey in forever. Who? My name is Miklos Berkic. Uh, I'm uh, 24 years uh, in the business. Uh, 
uh, I'm married, I have a beautiful wife, and the four years uh, old boy. Son. Son, yes. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your journey in forever. Um, 1997, January 16. In the 16th January of 1996, seven. <laughs> uh -huh. Chairman's bonus? Uh, igen, tehát, uh, a az program, I jöjt. like all the incentive programs of the Forever Living products. Amióta létezik a Chairman's bonus, uh, azóta minden évben teljesítem. When starts the Chairman's bonus uh, incentive from that moment, I every year take part in this incentive. How many years? How many years? Since when? Uh, 2001 uh, It's around uh, 20, 20 years. 20 years, years. Chairman's it, bonus. It's a profit sharing. That yeah, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. That's a round of applause, surely, right? 20 years. So that's why you have so many beautiful cars, huh? <laughs> and he wasn't married before, so it was easier, trust me. Okay, so um, you built your business. Now, I wonder if you could tell these guys a little bit about what your life was before forever, what you were doing before forever, and why you were attracted to forever. Hát elég régen volt, ugye a Forever előtti életem. It was a little bit long ago my life before the Forever. Most lassan már annyit éltem a Foreverrel, mint Forever nélkül. At the moment I live so long with the Forever as without the Forever. Yeah. <laughs> Almost the same. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, nem is emlékszem igazándiból a Forever előtti életemre. I even don't remember my life before, what was before the first. Arra, arra emlékszem, hogy uh, a vasúton dolgoztam. I was working in the railway station. Arra emlékszem, hogy uh, a legnagyobb tényező az életben a bizonytalanság volt. Uh, the most important uh, was in my life that was uh, no stability, no any stability. Igazándiból uh, nem volt tervezhető az élet. The life was not planned. És uh, amíg a szponzorom Szabó Józsi meg nem keresett, and addig nem is tudtam, mi, ho, hova, hova, hova megyek, milyen irányba. Uh -huh. And until that time, as Joseph Szabó, my sponsor, was find me, until that time I had no idea where to go in the life. És uh, 1997. január 16-án uh, Józsi elvitt egy uh, üzleti találkozóra. And Joseph, in January 1997, takes me a business meeting. És ott volt két ember. And there was two men, two people. Uh, az egyiket úgy hívták, hogy Rex Moon. One of them was Rex Moon. És uh, Rex Moon arról mesélt, hogy milyen fantasztikus uh, cég a Forever. Uh, Rex Moon speaks about how fantastic the Forever Living products, our hogy, company. Hogy ennél a cégnél vannak uh, a legszebb termékek, legjobb termékek. Uh, we have a uh, most beautiful and most best products in the world. És hogy ennek a cégnek van a világon a legjobban megfizetett uh, uh, marketing rend, legjobban fizető marketing rendszere. And we have the most uh, uh, paid. Uh, marketing plan in the world. Most generous, yeah. Most generous. Ott, volt, ott volt még egy fiatal ember. There was another young man there. Őt úgy hívják, hogy Rolf Kip. His name is Rolf Kip. És ő azt mondta, hogy uh, két éve foglalkozom a Forever üzlettel. I just uh, uh, two years in the business at the moment. Uh, keresek havonta uh, tízezer markát. Ez, ez I, most ötezer euró. Yeah, I get... Uh, 10,000 mark, which is uh, nowadays is uh, 5,000 uh, euro. És ha valaki Rolfot már látta színpadon, ő mindig nagyon szerény. And if uh, you see on the stage uh, uh, Rolf Kip, he's, uh, how well, let's say, a very uh, shy, shy guy. <laughs> Én hátul ültem a leghátsó sorban, mint Paul barátom, Hongkongból. I was sitting in the last... Uh, Row that time in the uh, business, like my friend Paul in the last. Össze volt téve a lábom, a kezem. My uh, crossed my legs and my hand. És itt néztem a Rolfot. And I was watching Rolf. És azt mondtam magamnak, ha az ember két év után tud keresni 5000 eurót ebből az üzletből. If this guy can earn after two years 5000 euro from this business. 
akkor én ezt meg tudom csinálni. I can do it. <laughs> és ahogy néztem Rolfot, and I, and I watching Rolf, azt gondoltam, hogy lehet, hogy még jobb is vagyok. And I can imagine that I can maybe better than him. <laughs> és öt hónap múlva 5000 eurót kerestem. And after five months, I earned 5000 euro. Yeah. <laughs> Azóta Rolf egy kicsit szorgalmasabb, mint én. <laughs> well, after that moment, Rolf became more higher. <laughs> yeah, Rolf <laughs> saw your example and said it's time to go to work. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you, thank you. What a great uh, introduction. Susan, I love your nails. I'm Susan. <laughs> she, Susan was just sat there. No, no, Billy. No, Billy. I love your nails. Thank you. They, they're uh, very colorful. Yeah, I love green, you know. Yeah. yeah. So tell us a little bit about you and how you got involved in Forever and, and led you to this point. Hi, everyone. My name is Ngobile Amselegu. I'm a mom of three. I have three beautiful kids, and I'm a wife of one to one husband. <laughs> <laughs> I joined uh, Forever eight years ago through a wonderful lady by the name of Ukabi, uh, may her soul rest in peace, that I met on Facebook. You know, um, she shared this wonderful gift with me. To be honest with you, besides my kids and my husband, obviously one of the best gifts that anyone has ever given me, it is the Forever opportunity. It has been an amazing journey, super amazing. I come from a um, sales and marketing background. Before I joined Forever, I used to work for this uh, media company. I was stressed, I was uninspired, I was borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. You know, I needed a way out. I knew that I deserved more, you know, from the life that I was living. I knew, I knew that I had a greater purpose than the life that I was leading back then, but I just needed an opportunity. So when Gabi presented this opportunity to me in 2012, I said no, because strange enough, as much as I was, you know, struggling, I thought that the forever opportunity was beneath me. How crazy I was, I was tru truly crazy. But anyway, a year later, I saw her life changing in front of me and I just decided to give her a call and say, you know what, Gabby, I am ready to join. Tell me, how can I get started? I knew nothing about the products. I knew nothing about the company. I knew nothing about, you know, the network marketing industry, but I had that desire to, to change and transform my life. And Ukabi as well, she didn't give up on me, which truly shows that the fortune is in the follow-up. You know, she kept on following up with me. Imagine if she gave up on me, I wouldn't be here today. And she would have lost one of her key people as well. So it has been amazing. We have gone from, from barely surviving to having more than enough. One of the main reasons why um, I decided to join Forever, it was because I was driving a very small car, a Chevrolet Spark, which had a lot of mechanical problems, which was causing problems between me and my husband as well, because my husband was working away from home, so all the time my car would break and there would be arguments between us. And I knew that if something were to change, I had to do something, you know, about it. Instead of complaining and being in fights with my husband, I just took the leap of faith and I joined the business and it has been life changing. When we started, he didn't believe in the opportunity, but through my persistence and he show, you know, me showing up every day and showing him that I want this business to become a success, he started to support me as well. And um, today we lead lives that I didn't think was honestly, you know, possible. I always say um, the forever opportunity is, is it's, uh, it's bigger than me. For me, I cannot afford to be uninspired. I cannot afford not to show up, you know, because for me, it is all about um, breaking those generational curses because there were people that told my mom that her kids will never amount 
to anything. Wow. So for me, I have to work really hard, not only for my generation, but for the generations to come as well. So I should show them that it doesn't matter who they are, it doesn't matter where they come from, as long as they are prepared to put in the work and give it enough time, they can be anything and everything that they want to be. We have achieved so much, you know, in this business. Uh, we have collected the lots in chairman's bonuses. We've been in the business for eight years now, and we have collected chairman's bonuses for the past seven years. We've been Eagle Managers for the past eight years as well. We qualified in our very first year as Eagle Managers, which is amazing, and we have never stopped. We have never looked <laughs> back. Today, we live in um, a suburb. I remember, because we used to do um, a kiddies' parties business, and I remember when one of um, the, the families, you know, they hired us to set up for, for, for their kids, and I remember being in that neighborhood, and I remember how I cried after setting up because I loved this area so much. I wanted to provide the very same environment, the very same safe place for my kids, but there was no way in hell that our salaries could afford us that neighborhood. Today, we live in the very same neighborhood, and our house is fully paid for. You know, it is fully paid for. And um, our kids, they go to one of the best private schools, you know, in the area. So never be afraid of, of dreaming big. Never be afraid of manifesting the things that you want in your life. We do have a perfect vehicle, guys. We do have a perfect vehicle. Yes, sister. <laughs> Whoa. I want to join forever again. I don't even know where to start with that. Just give me a high five. That was incredible. Thank you. I got chills. <laughs> I just, that is, ex just in that encapsulated, and you better remember that and translate it for Mickey because that encapsulates everything that's forever. You know, the, the, the fortunes in the follow-up. Remember she said that is the importance of Gabby um, your sponsor following up, following up, following up. And then her setting a goal with her husband of, I want a new car, not just for the physical side of the car, but it was causing some problems in a relationship. Followed it up with, I, I've got a vision of where I want to be. I want to live in this neighborhood, not because I want to show off or, or um, be higher than or more than somebody else, but because it's what's best for my family. Just a wonderful, wonderful um, encapsulation of what forever is all about. Do you guys enjoy that? Yeah, I hope you guys at home enjoy that as much as I did because it's inspiring. It's wonderful to be with you. Now, let me ask you this question. I, I know, um, tragically, sadly, we lost Gabby. Um, and I remember those moments. Gabby was at the top of the business. She was going hard. And unfortunately, um, she died. And it was just awful. A lot of the questions that we had that were, were sent to us were all about overcoming adversity and how do you handle the bad days. How do you handle when things don't go the way you wanted to? How did you recover from that? And how, what would you teach these guys about how to overcome adversity? No, um, for us, when uh, Gabby passed on, you know, it was a matter of we either allow what happened um, to Gabby, to Gabby, to be the end of us, or we decide to step up and take on the leadership role. And that is what we decided. We decided to step up and take on the leadership role. Was it easy? Of course it was not easy. It was challenging, especially the time in our country as well. There were lots of things that were happening, you know. So we really had to step up. And as well, when you do this business, you won't always be motivated. I'm not going to lie to you. There are days where you won't feel motivated to show up. You won't feel motivated to recruit. You won't feel motivated to sell or to follow up with your customers or to follow up with your team. Motivation won't always be there. That is why it is very important for you to be disciplined because motivation a discipline is much more important than motivation. And you must have your non-negotiables, you know, things that you do on a daily basis, regardless of how you feel. And you tell yourself that, you know, as much as I'm not motivated, but these are my non-negotiables. So you do them regardless of how you feel. Because honestly, 
Your dreams don't care how you feel. They just want to be fulfilled. So you just have to show up, put on your big girl panties, and do what you've got to do in order to move your life forward. And you also need to have clarity. Know exactly what you want to, ch to achieve. Know exactly why you want it to achieve. And in some cases, having one why won't really cut it. You need to have a bag of whys. A bag of different whys that are going to keep you going on different days when you face different challenges. Because it's not the very same why that is going to keep you going on different challenges that, you're gonna, you, that you are going to face. Sometimes you will have to dig very deep and take a why that is going to, you know, inspire you again to keep, to keep moving and to keep going as well. So I would say discipline is key and having that bag of whys and having the clarity, know exactly where you want to go and, and just do it. You owe it to yourselves, guys. You just do wow. it. Well done. I love that. Um, discipline is greater than motivation. So important. And, and you heard it from the guests before. There's so much discipline in our business, so much self-motivation. Mickey, you have a, a massive team um, all over Europe and the rest of the world. And I know that in the beginning that you had a lot of trips to visit and to, to uh, introduce people all over Europe, sleeping in the car, all of these things. How do you handle such a big business and how do you handle um, so many prospects? Mm -hmm. Uh, igen, tehát a, az online időszak előtt uh, nagyon nagyon sokat kellett utazni. Before the online, of course, uh, I travel a lot. A gyémánt szint elérésé kiszámoltam, pontosan egy millió kilométert vezettem le. Until I reached the diamond level, I uh, traveled around one million kilometer. Wow. Plus a repülőutak. And the extra the flight on the plane. <laughs> oh, one million in the car <laughs> plus the flight. Yes. Yeah, wow. Így van. Tehát abban az időszakban sokkal gyorsabban és más módszerekkel kellett vezetőket találni és vezetőket nevelni. That time I have to find much more faster the leader and much more faster teach them how to be a leader. A legfontosabb dolog az, hogy az embernek saját magának kell egy másolható példává válni. Uh, the most important that you have to be a symbol which can be duplicatable. Tehát a csoportomban nekem kell először megcsinálnom a négy pontot. First in my group I have to make the four CC. Az első héten. In the first week I have to be the number one who made it. Utána, utána számon tudom kérni a többieken a négy pontot. And uh, then I can ask from the others from my group. Uh, ugyanez van az ösztönző programokkal. The same with the initiative programs also. Uh, mert hogyha valaki nem teljesíti az ösztönző programot, akkor az ő részére az olyan, mintha a cég nem is találta volna ki. Because if somebody doesn't uh, recognize in the initiative program, it means like the company doesn't create for him. Uh, és nagyon fontosnak tartottam azt, hogy uh, az én vezetői példám egy másolható vezetői példa legyen mindenki számára. And very important for me that uh, my uh, sample, how I uh, lead my uh, group, it can be uh, duplicatable for all of uh, uh, members in my group. Uh, vezetőket uh, uh, lehet nevelni, uh, hogy nélkülem dolgozzanak, és ugyanazt a munkát elvégezzék. Uh, we can teach our leaders that they can uh, work without me and uh, make the same work as I do. Uh, de vezetőt nevelni uh, nem egy könnyű dolog. But uh, to make somebody a leader, to create a leader from somebody, it's not an easy sokkal, way. Sokkal könnyebb vezetőket, keres, ke, vezetőket megtalálni. Uh, much more easier to find the leaders. Mert millió ember születik vezetőnek. Uh, millions of people are born in, like a leader. Csak nem tudják magukról, hogy ők vezetőnek születtek. But they are not know about themselves that they are leaders. Yeah. Egészen addig, amíg nem jössz és nem nyitott fel a szemét, hogy van egy lehetőség a Foreverben, és te is tudsz vezetni. Until that uh, time, then you come to him and you open uh, his eyes and he will recognize himself that he is really a leader. Uh, nem biztos, hogy uh, egy menedzser lesz a vezető. Lehet, hogy egy supervisor már vezető. Uh, maybe even a supervisor 
can be a leader, not a manager from the group. És nagyon-nagyon gyorsan rájuk arra, hogy ki az, aki igazi vezetővé fog válni. And uh, very fast I recognize from the people who can be a real leader. Ha valaki kérdez, ha valaki sokat hív telefonon, akkor az hamarosan nagy vezető lesz. If somebody uh, calls me very often, somebody asks me very often, it means that he will be a leader. És azt hittem, hogy majd az online, uh, hogyan mondjam, tehát megkönnyíti az életemet. And I was thinking that the online will make my life more easy. De rájöttem, hogy még több munkát adott. But I realized that then it gives much, much more work for me. Mert az embereknek uh, nem fontos az, már hogy ott legyek én élőben fizikálisan, elég, hogyha küldök egy videót. <laughs> for the people it's not important uh, to meet me in uh, all offline, let's say, but very important to send a video to him. És az elmúlt, elmúlt másfél évben volt olyan nap, hogy három különböző kontinensen jártam. And uh, in the uh, last year there happens that in one day I was traveling in three different continents. Otthonról. A computer előtt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nem kellett From cipőt home. húzni. Even I don't have to uh, use my shoes. Yeah. Nem kellett nadrág se. Even nothing. Elég no volt a zakó, ing és nyakkendő. Just, just uh, uh, taking the up close Ugye, and I can do it from home uh, from the display. Yeah. Ezért, the örültem, computer, ezért the... örültem az első offline találkozóknak, hogy újra realizáltam, hogy az embereknek van láb. Therefore I was very happy to realize uh, in the first offline meeting that the people has legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You you a lot of uh, people have talked about leadership, you know, and and um Mickey you just talked about the importance of developing leadership in your teams and that's a great way to control the the prospects. Uh Nobile, what are you looking for when when we say leadership? What are you looking for? What qualities are you looking for? What demonstrates that someone's going to be a leader in your group? Uh for someone to to uh to have those qualities of leadership, they must be willing, they must be hungry, and they must be coachable as well. These are three key things. They need to be willing, hungry, and coachable. Because, you know, if you want to start a forever business and make it a success, it is very important for you to be coachable. And the only way for you to know that they are coachable is when you give them assignments to do. And they, and they come back, exactly done what they had to do, you know, then you can see that, oh, okay, this person is coachable. Are they hungry? You know, do they attend all the team um, trainings? Do they come to the presentations? Do they invite to the presentations? Are they present? Do they always take plugged in on whatever activities that we have as a team? So those are the things that are that demonstrates that a person is really hungry and they want to make this business a success. Because in, in most cases, or in some cases, we, we make a mistake of um, falling in love with the potential. You know, we fall in love with the potential of a person, you know, because we see that, amen, they really need this business and they can make it a success. But it's not everyone that shows their potential that are really willing, hungry, and coachable so love that that's great great advice um mickey you mentioned when you were talking about the fact that you want to be the first person in your group to do the four case credits that's a great thing to pick up on is the power of example um, i'm going to ask you two the same question in closing that i asked the others and that is mickey 24 years ago you joined this business if you could go back and sit next to the Mickey 24 years ago, knowing what you know now, what would you tell him? Uh, no, uh, I, First of all, the most important for me to take more, more, more time with my sponsor. Több találkozót kérnék tőle. More meeting with him. Uh, többet buliznék vele. I make uh, more parties with him. <laughs> Mert uh, uh, mindent, mindent vissza lehet adni egy embernek. 
Everything you can get back to somebody. Vissza lehet adni tárgyakat, pénzt, uh, money, things, szerelmet, love. Uh, de az el nem töltött időt. But the time what you don't uh, take together. Mm -hmm. Time we never get it back. Never. Mm -hmm. The one of the feelings that comes across, and I hope that you guys pick on, is this immense gratitude that each one of these GLT leaders have for their sponsors and for the people that introduce them to, to the business and, and that, that capacity to feel grateful and thankful is an important part of being a true leader in today's world. Mobile, I'm going to ask you the same question. You've been in the business about eight years? Yes. You're going to go back to that sweet young girl that sat listening to Gabby. What are you going to tell her? Dream bigger, faster. That is, you know, if I had huge dreams and, you know, I was dreaming big and faster, then I believe that I would, I would have had a much greater success, you know, because the amount of your dreams in most cases equals to the amount of your work ethic. So if you have big goals, big dreams, obviously you are going to have big, you know, work ethic, big, you, you are going to do more activities. And also, I wish I really embraced the power of personal development. It took me a long time to really realize the power of personal development and to work, working on myself, pouring on myself, you know, ensuring that I feed my mind at all times. I really wish I did that when I started uh, the forever business. So dreaming bigger and faster and embracing personal development are key things for me. Excellent. I can't think of a better way to finish. Thank you so much for Mobile and Mikey and Shando for joining us here on stage at the World Expo 2020 and spending so much of your time sharing your love, sharing your appreciation, your gratitude. We love you guys. We appreciate you so very much and you are the best of the best. Thank you one more time for Mickey and Mobile. Thank you so much. Thank you.